Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding nature for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about file uploading. Let us see what are the rules and regulations we have to follow while working with file uploads. Especially in case of file uploading to the form tag, we have to add an attribute called enc type with a value multipod slash form hyphen data. We already work with registration form, login form, contact form, but we didn't mention this attribute there. Especially we are mentioning here in the file uploading. Remember, by default, a form can transfer plain text data and HTML data to server. If you want to transfer media data like audio files, video files, and images, definitely we have to add the attribute enc type multipod slash form hyphen data. Without this attribute, we cannot upload files to server. By adding this attribute, your form can understand what type of data should be transferred to server. That's the reason we have to add this attribute to the form tag. Not only in Codignator, you can go core PHP, Codignator 3, Codignator 4, Laravel, whatever the framework you are using. Without this attribute, we cannot upload files in PHP. Once file uploaded, we have to get the file information, right? So in our request object, we have a method called getFile. By using this getFile method, we can get the uploaded file information, complete information of the file. And this method can fetch only one file at a time. If you want to get multiple files, there is a separate method that we will discuss in separate session, multiple file uploading, right? Let us see how can we upload a file? How can we get the fi uploaded file information? Go to your editor. I already created a small controller guys here. So file upload controller and here I'm loading a view upload view. This is the upload view I have. So here we didn't create any form, right? Let us create a form quickly. Definitely your form tag should be multipod. That attribute should be there, but enc type equal to multipod, right? That should be there. And let us add this guys here. I'm going to write form underscore open underscore. There is a method called multipod. Right. So by writing this uh, method, a form tag will be created with enc type attribute. And let us close the form tag quickly. And you can go and refresh the page and you can check it quickly. Form underscore close. Let me add the close attribute also. Method. If you want, you can add it. Otherwise, you can leave it. Form close is optional here. Right. Definitely, we have to add, we have to load this helper, right? Go to your controller, constructor. So load the helper method that helper method is going to be form helper done now just refresh the page and check it so now i'm just refreshing it definitely press f12 and check it so form tag is open and there is an action enc type equal to multipod slash form hyphen data and method equal to post and post method method it also should be post method guys so now it is ready guys now what is the next thing so we have to display file uploading control here let us take a label here, upload image or upload author, whatever it may be. Upload author. And here we are going to write input type equal to file. And name equal to author. Right, this is going to be close. And here we can write a submit button, input type equal to submit, SUBMIT submit and uh, value equal to upload take the value inside of it value equal to upload yes now can you refresh it now we can get the upload file control choose file and upload once you submit the form we have to get the uploaded file information right right let us go to your controller and if the form is submitted we have to collect the data so that if let us write the request method of post delete this off request of we have get method equal to post just i'm comparing if the method is post the form is submitted so if form submitted we have to get the file information right let us get a, let us take a variable or file equal to that are this of request in this request object we have a method called get file this is the method we have so to this we have to pass the name of the input field what is the name of the uh, input box field so this is going to be author right copy paste don't do the spell mistake here, right if you are doing it is not going to be done so now done now i just want to print this variable for the confirmation what type of data this file variable is containing just i'm going to print it let us take the pre tag also for clear input right i'm going to just check this now can you see and let us upload a file and try it just I'm going to upload a file 
and choose one icon here i'm just taking an icon and i'm submitting guys can you see the uploaded file information is like this what is the file name this is the file name and what what type of image that is and the error zero means uploaded successfully size of the file and temporary path of the file so we are getting the file information to get the more information regarding file so the coordinator 4 library is providing lot of methods to work with file handling especially in coordinator 3 we have uh, at least uh, i think we have three methods only one is the upload method one is data method one is error method that's the only thing but in 4 we have a lot of methods guys i will show you just nothing if you want to see the methods available just you can write this see wait for it is loading the solutions can you see these are all the methods almost all lot of methods are there by using all these methods we can get the file information see get path get path info and path name params random and get size of the file that is uploaded by you temporary name get type right has moved file is moved to temp permanent location so is dir is executable is file is valid so there is a method we have to use this method if the file uploaded by you is valid we can move it if the file has not moved yes we have to move it let us see how we can move the uploaded file to some by default if we can upload a file that will be stored in temporary location we have to move the file to permanent location if it is a core php there is a method move uploaded file if it is a coding data 3 there is a upload method but in here we have a direct method called move method that will move the file to permanent location from temporary let us see how this is all going to be work let me write one small condition if file is valid as well as so we have a method guys file is valid valid is valid sorry there is a method called is valid method if the file is valid and not file has moved if the file is not moved there is a condition so has there is a method called mode so if the file is valid and the file is not moved then we have to move the file to permanent location right so this is a is valid method it will check whether the file is valid or not and has moved method it will check whether the file is moved to permanent location if not moved we have to move it if the file is valid and we have to move it so that's why i written the conditions like this guys now we have to move the file dollar file of there is a method called move method directly to this move method we have to pass the path where you have to move the file so guys by default uh, as our if you can see our coding letter introduction there is a folder called writable all the uploaded files and session files are going to be available in the writable folder anyhow let me move the file to writable folder guys how can we how can we move the file to writable folder just you can write the point fc path this is going to be give you the uh, your up to http c xamp htdoc ci4 it will give you up to here so there we have i mean uh, not fc path we have writable i think double r i t a write path by writing this constant we can directly move to the writable i mean if we can print this it will give the writable folder path directly here let me move a folder called uploads folder slash the file name what is the file name how can we get the file name to get the file name also there is a method guys here let me add this dollar files dollar file of get name so this is the predefined method we will get the uploaded file guys what this method is going to do you know this method is going to move the file to particular location just i am not doing anything if the file is moved okay if the file i mean if the file moved successfully this method is going to return true guys let me write a condition if the file is moved to the particular location uploads location okay otherwise we can display some error here to display the error there is a method file of get error string is a method i think there is a method called error string method and we can write get error also in the same manner let me take some space here i mean both i am going to print dollar file of get error there is a method called get error i think just get error method right so if you if the file is uploaded <clears throat> we can display a message file uploaded successfully here let us write a message here paragraph tag open close write a message file uploaded successfully that's it so i didn't did you see this is my writable folder i didn't create upload folder anywhere here now if you didn't create upload folder this will create the path automatically guys we don't want to create the folder manually if the folder is there okay it will use it if it is not there it will create a file it will create a uploads folder can you see now now i'm going to 
execute this file and submit the same i am going to select a file now this is a bootstrap icon i am selecting now if we can submit it can you see if everything is okay yes i am getting file uploaded successfully can you see the folder uploads folder if you can see the uploads folder i mean writable folder there is uploads folder is created and you can just open it this is the file just now i created this is some folder is created why is folder is created anyhow the file is there guys here right file uploaded but it is creating a folder also but i don't want to create folder guys here so folder is not required for us right so just let me move the file guys directly to the uploads folder i think this is not required i believe let me remove this and uh, now it is going to be uploaded to server automatically let me check one more time here so let us upload one more image let us see whether that is moving or not this time i'm selecting this coding letter 4 and let us submit this guys so i got file uploaded successfully and now we can go and we can check it earlier i think it was saved into a folder but now we need to check it so just can you see now earlier this was in a folder now this is not in a folder this was in separate location now can you see this is the image i have uploaded there then yeah file is uploading but what is the file you are uploading now i am going to upload a word document or sql file is it going to be uploaded definitely it is going to be uploaded can you see now just i am going to my downloads let me select a file here i have login.php file i have let me select and upload it can you see file uploaded successfully so is this is correct one definitely file will be there in that particular location no doubt login.php is available in the uploads folder right but we have to validate the file also now so whatever the file you are uploading you have to validate also guys when we are moving the file if you want to generate a new name to the uploaded file yes we can generate that too also there is a method called get random name such a method is there in the file handling function by using that method we can move the file with a new name let us see how we can create a new name actually you are uploading one file uh, logo.png or blog.png login.php but while uploading i have to create a new name and i have to upload into the server let us see there is a method in our coding letter for just guys while moving the file just i'm i'm adding this method new name equal to file get random name to this move method the second parameter is going to be the new name guys now what is going to be happen with the new name a file is going to be moved let us see now i'm going to upload file again in the browser now can you see i'm going to upload the same logo image bootstrap logo we have right let us go and upload this bootstrap logo image i think earlier we seen somewhere right anyhow let us go to this particular folder there is b5 and let us select this image and i'm uploading can you see now upload the file is going to be uploaded no it is giving an error call files uh, sorry uh, i think it is going to be file right i given somewhere files where i given files yeah this is going to be file guys actually right let us go and check it i am resending the same now if we can see it is going to be uploaded successfully now you can go there the same file is available in your server with a, a different name can you see this is the, just now we uploaded a file with a different name guys can you see just i'm opening see the name of the file some current time underscore some different name is going to be generated to the uploaded file yes we can do sometimes there is a chance so you and me may upload a same image i mean image name may be same but content may be different you are uploading your profile pic i am uploading my profile pic unfortunately profile pic name is same if you are uploading i am also uploading if i upload my image is going to be overridden with your image why because both are having same name very remember this is very careful while we are uploading images it is a good practice to generate random name for them right guys finally images are moving successfully now i want to validate the files once the form is submitted we have to define the validation rules right yes in coding letter 3 we don't have such a kind of flexible methods to validate guys but in coding letter 4 we have a very good validation rules to validate the image guys let us define the validation rules here rules we already know right so rules right so this rules method we have to pass to there is a validation library dollar this of validation of let us write this method here quickly dollar this of validate is a method to this we have to pass rules if these rules are okay then we can upload the image guys otherwise we are not going to be upload the image this is going to be the logic we have to write inside of it but we have to define the rules right let us define the rules for these guys so that it is going to be easy for us 
some error is there validate method what is the error we will see now right so then so if this is validated successfully now we have to move it so we have to define the validation rules guys what are the rules we have to define here just you can go there and define the rules guys so let us keep this into if statement if and this is going to be validate rules if the rules are okay then fine otherwise we have to send the validation rules to the view dollar data of validation we already know file val uh, form validations right the same story here equal to validator object dollar this of validator we are just going to send the data to view and this we have to pass to it right dollar data initially we don't have any data to the view at the time of loading so on the top of the page always try to take an empty array dollar data equal to empty array if you have any errors yes we can display them if you don't have errors no problem for us right but here we have to define the rules for this guys let us see how we can define the rules for the name of the input field a v a t r this is author here we have to define the rules guys you can go on through the manual there is a very good list of rules for specially for file uploading guys let me show you the rules this is the rule list guys i have here for file uploading specially uploaded author is uploaded file is uploaded so this is going to check file is uploaded or not max size of the file 1024m 1024 i mean 1mb and ext in extension in author of type png jpg gif only and for every rule we have to pass the name of the input field name of the input field here also name of the input field max size author of 1024 ext in extension in author this should be exactly matched with this guys if this is not matching with this it is not going to be done right so now validation rules are done if these rules are okay now file is going to be uploaded successfully otherwise you cannot upload the file let us see whether it is uploading the file or not go there and refresh the page now and let us see i'm going to select now sql file let us see what is going to be happen guys this is some png file okay let me select this whether it is uploading or not i'm submitting this file uploaded successfully we got the message now i am going to upload an sql file let me check it whether it is going to be uploaded or not go to downloads and i have a php file zip file i have and login.php let me submit this i am going to submit this can you see so file is not uploaded but where is the error we have to display the error messages right go to your view and display the error messages here go to validation errors here just above the form if is a set dollar validation if the validation errors are there yes we can display them otherwise we don't want right just so you can write end if statement here end if so here i want to display the list of validation errors if i have dollar validation of list errors there is a predefined method just i am going to take this list errors is a predefined method that's it guys now you can check it earlier we don't have error let me submit the same file now let us see whether we are having error or not now i am going to select this login.php and submit this definitely you can see an error author does not have a valid file extension error is coming automatically you can go and you can select orders.sql file i am going to submit this now upload now can you see author doesn't have a valid file extension now if we can upload image definitely it is going to move the file to your server guys definitely there is no doubt at all if you want you can upload an image again definitely it is going to be moved guys automatically go there and select one of the file fb error i am having here i am submitting this can you see now file is uploaded successfully whatever the files you uploaded all the files we can see into our uploads folder can you see all the files are uploaded just now with the, some different name so this is some this is very good current time underscore some different name is coming guys all files are uploaded successfully if you want you can go to the folder also there we can check directly guys what are the files we uploaded now to the particular uploads folder by using codeignator 4 go to ci4 here you can just go to writable folder in this we have uploads folder all uploaded files are these are guys right this is how we can create uh, we can upload the files into our codeignator with including validations right so this is all about the file uploading guys in the next session we are going to work with multiple file uploading let us see how we can work with multiple file uploading right thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment on the video section and please subscribe our channel gopi hp thank you all